Hello everyone. Today we are going to enter the low voltage room. Okay, so this is the door and signage of low voltage room here mentioned. LV switch room. That means this is a low voltage room switch room. No access. Only authorized person can be entered into the room. Fire door keep short and keep clear. Means this is a fire uh, proof door. Always the door should be closed position. Then electrical panel and high voltage inside the room. So we need to be taken care. and we need to wear eye protection so let's enter to the room there is a access panel so for authorized person only who doesn't have access he cannot enter to the lv room so we enter to the room so in the uh, right side we have a suppression system award so this is connected with our fire suppression system if in case of emergency if we will press this yellow button then uh, it will be released so here we need to check the gates it should be always in green if it is in red then immediately we have to inform the authority and we have to inform the fire fighting uh, concern person to check it and uh, this is our manual call point so if in case of fire if will uh, uh, manually push it then our fire alarm alarm will be activated this is the sld single line diagram which is approved by addc and this is the main diagram you can see here you can easily track the circuit breaker details here and our lv room starting should be should be 60 percentage rh below and then we need to check the light shutters all the lights should be switched on inside the electrical room okay so this is the checklist we need to follow okay we need to check everything so what we need to check we need to check the ac we need to check the tv closed properly or not lighting condition water leakage then fire extinguisher status then uh, clean or not you need to make sure uh, abnormally notify it and the not technician should be signed in this current parameter here okay so this is our voltage and parameter here Uh, to check the voltage, this is the single phase voltage. You can see here, 236, 237, and 238. And this is the three phase voltage, 409, 4112, and 411. And uh, this is our frequency displaying 50.03 hertz. Then uh, this is the voltmeter. Okay, so also you can see here by manually. Uh, this is the digital one. Okay, so let me put in. Uh, yes, this is the three phase voltage. Okay. So line one, three to line one. That means B R. I am changing here. You can see here it is also changing. This is line two to line three, and this is line one to line two. Uh, this is the voltmeter we have discussed. This is our ammeter R for R phase, Y phase, B phase. For R phase the load is 500 ampere. For Y phase the load is 500 ampere, and B phase it is uh, lower than 500 for 50 ampere. Okay. And this is our heater on off switch, and this is our emergency push button. In case of emergency, if you press this button, then the power enter power will be delivered for this ACB. And this is our arc leakage relay. Uh, also, we can say it in, uh, restricted arc fault relay. Uh, this is the inside of the panel, the ammeter, and this is the arc leakage relay. Okay. And this is the MCB, and this is the PLA relay. That means programmable logic array. Also, we can say it pin relay, and this is the connectors. so we need to check this is the undercurrent uh, relay this is the phase failure relay and this is the arc leakage relay okay so these are the relay we will, we will find inside the lv room and there is a heater okay and this is a uh, uh, spd that means short protection device okay, if there is any short circuit in the panel it will be uh, it will be protect the panel okay so this is our main incomer you can see here Our uh, 2,500 incomer. So always you need to check the long time current, short time current, instant current, and ground fault current of the breaker before going to do the maintenance. Always and you need to check the status. This is called I N current. Okay. So you can also see here the A C B is open, close, trip, or uh, A C B close push button, open push button, and lamp test push button. Okay. So this it is if it is in close, then your A C B is on. If it is in open, then your A C B is ACB is off. Okay, you need to make sure, and always you need to check the spring charge. It should be always in uh, 
in law because uh, because it is auto charging by the battery charger okay so these all are mccv you can see here mccv means molded case circuit breaker okay so this is our electrical panel uh, this is the scb again you know there is a bus coupler between in both incomer if one of the incomer will be failure then we can change the load from incomer 1 to incomer 2 with help of bus coupler okay so this is the basic of lv panels also you will find this is our capacitor band uh, it's made by fcos we need to maintain the power factor 0.99 and should be in lagging so one means it is leading uh, that means the load is not enough to pick the capacitor uh, we need as per adc regulations we need to maintain uh, the power factor from 0.90 to 0.99 it should be in lagging you need to check the filter status uh, it, if it is dirty then we need to immediately open it, close, uh, clean it then uh, always we need to check the physical status of the room well so also you will find some you know the cables with our uh, thing so this cable called xlp cable xlp means cross line polyethane these are the electric meter which is controlled by addc abu dhabi distribution company we cannot do anything in the electric uh, energy meter because because these all are belongs to addc well so this is one of the uh, sub distribution panel okay so here is mccb there uh, this is not mdb as i discussed the power will be distributed from mdb to smdb then it will go to db mdb means main distribution board you can see here this is our mdb mdb then it is connected to smdb then smdb to connect db okay so db so first the power will come from the transformer uh, to the mdb mdb to smdb smdb to the db okay so this is uh, the some smdb panel you can see here okay so this is our lb room how it looks like and what how it is functioning